Hey there folks, and welcome back to Joe's RV's Tips and Tricks. As always, I'm your host, Joe W., and today we've got an important topic that's not often brought up, but it's crucial to the lifespan of your beloved Winnebago RV. We're talking about a silent adversary that can wreak havoc if not properly managed. And no, I'm not talking about your mother-in-law. It's moisture and the damage that it can cause to your RV. So strap in and let's roll out. Let's start on the outside. Your Winnebago, like this beautiful Vita that we have here, is built with precision and care, boasting an exterior designed to fend off the weather elements. Still, as resilient as it may be, it requires regular maintenance to keep moisture-related issues at bay. Pay particularly close attention to windows and doors to check for any signs of cracking or peeling around the seals. Also, don't forget about your rooftop. It may be a bit of a climb up here, but carefully using your ladder, get on top and then check your seals and edges wherever you can, especially before and after storage. Once inside, it's all about balance. It's about maintaining optimum relative humidity, which is a fancy term for air water content, and Winnebago recommends that you keep your relative humidity around 60% or lower. And for that, you're gonna need a hygrometer. You can easily find one online or at a local store, and the hygrometer will give you an accurate reading so that you can take measures to reduce the humidity. Your Winnebago is equipped with exhaust fans as well as an air conditioning system to help you manage this moisture. Maybe not in this unit, but in something larger like a Class A, if you're in a high humidity area, a portable dehumidifier can be very beneficial. Be on the lookout for signs of moisture. Water droplets on walls or windows and wet carpets, anything like that was just an indication that there's a leak. And if there's a leak or condensation, we want to nip that in the butt before it leads to mold. Mold leads to asthma and other respiratory issues. A handy tip, avoid drastic changes in temperature in your RV. Cranking up the AC and then opening doors or windows is a surefire way to invite condensation into your unit. It might look cool to see your breath inside your RV, but it's not so cool when that condensation turns into mold. One often overlooked source of moisture in your RV is the use of your appliances and your amenities. Showering, cooking, and even breathing can increase humidity levels inside your RV. So to mitigate this, ensure to use the exhaust fans in the kitchen and in the bathroom whenever you're cooking or taking a shower. These systems are designed to vent out the moisture heavy air and maintain a healthy balance inside your RV. Let's talk about storage, specifically the storage compartments of your RV. These spots can be hotbeds for moisture buildup and surface mold. Clean these areas regularly and leave some space between the items and the exterior wall to induce airflow. Consider placing moisture absorbing products in these areas like silica gel packs. They're very effective at this, just like the small packs that you find in new shoes or electronics. And you can buy larger versions designed specifically for preventing moisture buildup in your storage areas. If you're storing your RV for extended period, drain all water sources, open all closet doors and all drawers, and if you can, keep your RV in a climate controlled environment. Moisture might be a silent adversary, but with these tips, you're now armed to be ready to keep your Winnebago in tip top shape. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more RV wisdom. Drop us a comment if you found this useful or you have any questions. Remember to check us out on TikTok. This is Joe W. signing off until the next RV adventure.